In this demonstration, you'll learn about the ANSYS Discovery AIM workspace. When you begin a new study in Discovery AIM, you can start quickly by using a template app containing many of the default settings you'll need. This is how the workspace looks after you've imported your geometry in a fluid flow template. The summary grid shows the simulation tasks that were automatically added for this template. An end-to-end -end representation of these tasks is displayed in the Project Summary tree and the Workflow tab of the View panel. Using the Workflow tab, you can easily manage the simulation by right-clicking on a task to add, delete, or duplicate a task. Each task is a container for all the objects and settings for that task. The starting template determines not only the task sequence, but also many of the values you will need to successfully complete your simulation. To set up the simulation, you can display and edit setup values through property panels or data panels. The difference between the panels is the time to set up and level of control over your simulation properties. If you need more control beyond what the property panels offer, the data panel gives you access to more typical properties and options to customize your simulation. And finally, on some data panels, this icon exposes all of the setup options available for the greatest level of control. Using a template combined with the Workflow tab and the Property Panels, you have everything you need to successfully create a simulation. Discovery AIM uses color cues to communicate the simulation status. Red draws your attention to items that must be completed to move forward. Yellow indicates that you need to update the task, and green confirms that the task is up to date. You'll notice that some buttons or menu items are highlighted in blue. Blue is a cue for a suggested next step. In addition to color, Discovery AIM communicates with you through symbols and messages. Physics conditions are identified using unique symbols. Progress indicators and message alerts display here. Missing data or potential errors are indicated with messages in both the property and data panels. Alerts and messages are displayed in the Messages tab, and by clicking on the link, you navigate directly to the data panel where the change is required. You can also click on the status bar to display the corresponding messages in the Message tab. The Transcript tab on the View panel displays text output from the solver. Charts specific to the physics type are displayed in the Solution Monitors tab. You can visit the Start page at any time and then return to your study. These arrows behave like browser arrows so you can move backwards and forwards revisiting the objects you have already set up, or use a project summary tree to go directly to an object. You can also use the navigation bar to display a list of properties within a given category or jump to a specific object within a task. Now let's demonstrate some of Discovery AIM's graphics tools. Several tools are available to pick specific components of the model with selection filters. For instance, select only bodies, or select only faces, or see different views by hiding the edges, or faces, or making the model translucent. Add a point, line, or plane to help interpret results. The Topology Selector makes easy work of selecting an internal or hidden geometric entity. Explore low fidelity results using the Preview Results toolbar. You can manipulate the model in many ways using a combination of keyboard and mouse. Help in using Discovery AIM is easy to find, just look for the question marks. Concise and specific help is often available within a field. This question mark opens help about this particular data panel. Video and more in-depth help is a click away. This concludes part two of getting started with Discovery AIM. <laughs>